Back to school with the COVID pandemic still a concern. In Philadelphia, after the first few days of school, it will be mask optional unless cases flare up. But not everyone's on board with this new plan. Here's our Jennifer Joyce. The majority of parents speaking out against the school district of Philadelphia's masking policy asked the district to reverse its decision, making masks entirely optional, saying, if not now, when? I think masking should be optional this year. This Philadelphia school district student, along with several parents, spoke out about the school district's mask policy for the upcoming school year. This is an equity issue, guys. Really, really deeply reflect upon it. Why are our kids in this district being treated differently than almost 99% of kids in the entire country? The district consulting its medical officer, Dr. Kendra McDowell, Philly Health Commissioner, Dr. Cheryl Bedigal, and others determined that masks will be required in Philly public schools for the the first 10 days of the school year. Then they'll be optional unless community spread is high, a classroom or school experiences an outbreak, or upon returning to school after an extended break. Students and staff at pre-K Head Start programs are required to mask all year long. Strong opinions on both sides. My son was put in isolation back in May uh, due to his, he was having an asthma flare up that week. He could not breathe. He cannot wear his mask, and he was sent to the principal's office and made to feel ashamed of what was happening to him. At the meeting, the school board and the district's medical officer said that any child with a medical condition or disability can seek a special accommodation through an IEP team. Parent Stephanie King in the minority, thanking the school district for maintaining some COVID precautions. The fact is, if we want students to be in the school, in the classroom, learning as much as possible, we should be doing everything we can to keep them healthy. The school district responding to tonight's comments in a statement to Fox 29 News saying that it appreciates the feedback and concerns of district families and that, quote, the school district of Philadelphia will continue working with the Philadelphia Department of Public Health and following federal and local public health guidance to determine the best health and safety measures to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 and keep kids in school for in-person learning. Jennifer Joyce, Fox 29 News.